Chicago. Hi everyone, it's Ariel here and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm showing you guys my updated makeup routine, my go-to routine, my tips and tricks, my favorite products. We are doing it all today, OG style. So sit down, get cozy, go to your vanity, get ready with me together. Grab your favorite snack, your favorite drink, because it's going to be a long one filled with all of my secrets and my faves. So... I'm so excited for you guys to see it. So I'm going to be quiet now. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below your thoughts and also subscribe to my channel for more. But I know you guys want to see it already. So let's just get into it. But first, I wanted to show you my new everyday bag to go with the look. This is from Artemisia Wang. It is a new exclusive designer brand. And this bag is so versatile, lightweight, and made of luxurious Italian leather. I love that you can wear it crossbody on the shoulder as a clutch. It comes in different colors also. So check them out below with the link and code. Okay, the way I am so excited to start, I haven't sat down and done a full-on makeup look on camera. You know, besides my iPhone and TikTok and stuff, but on this DSLR for my YouTube in so, so long. I think the last one I did was also a girl talk get ready with me on mental health. So if you guys do want to check that out, you definitely can. I did like a pink look, but still, that was so long ago. Any other time I've done makeup on camera on my YouTube channel, I feel like has been integrated or super basic or I'm talking about another topic so I'm beyond excited to just talk all things makeup today show you guys all of my techniques all of my products all of my faves so let's get right into it my face has been so dry as you can see I did a little blowout with the Dyson and I did do a dedicated video on my thoughts on the Dyson so you guys should check that out as well but yeah normally when I'm doing my blowout I have my skin prep marinating and and I saved it for this video y'all so my skin is so tight and mad at me right now but yeah we are just going to ignore that is like so annoying this piece um, the roller throughout the duration of this tutorial it helps me keep my hair out of my face and it also just makes my curtain bangs extra voluminous and last four days so let's get started so first things first I am going to put some Fenty skin plush put in intensive recovery lip mask on I love this stuff so much and I love just having it kind of marinate on my lips while I do the rest of my face and guys a step that I did not show was shaving my mustache and my eyebrows a little bit and my unibrow with a facial razor um, I do this pretty much pretty much every time I do my makeup just to make sure everything's clean and nice I'm like so not used to makeup tutorials so zooming you guys in just a little bit hopefully this helps you guys see a little bit more of the detail but first things first we are going to do skin prep so this has been my go-to routine for I want to say the past eight months or so today I'm gonna be showing you guys the more full coverage version the only thing that changes is the amount of product that I put on my face like if I'm not filming I put way less product under my face I love to underpaint as well but for all of these little switches and changes that I do definitely make sure you guys check out my TikTok because I show a lot more on there a lot more trying different techniques and products but anyways skin prep one of my favorite parts so I have been using this versed Sunday morning antioxidant oil serum it matches me I absolutely love this stuff I highly recommend especially for my dry skin girlies like me to wow well, I wish I had my nails done or something <laughs> to start off with a serum. It is seriously game changing. Like I'm sure you guys hear it all the time, but skin prep is really everything. And I've been learning a lot more about skincare along the way. So what I picked up and sometimes I like to do like a little gua sha action, just kind of treat your skin prep as a peaceful, you know, moment. So from what I picked up, the steps are serum, moisturizer, eye cream, SPF, which lately, I'll be honest, I haven't been wearing SPF every single time under my makeup. Moving along, this right here has been my favorite moisturizer especially for day to day and especially before makeup this is the Ola Henriksen strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer and as you can see I love this stuff it is so 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 good especially 
especially before makeup. I don't know if it's just me, but I have like certain moisturizers that I use at night, certain favorites for like a day cream, and very specific favorites for before makeup, and this is one of them. Even on no makeup days, this has just been a go-to. I don't know if you could just tell already, it makes my skin so plump and hydrated. It just restores all of the moisture back into my skin. I feel so much better now, and yeah, I will definitely be repurchasing this time and time again. It just makes my skin look so healthy and plump and just ready for makeup. So moving along, this is the next product I use and seriously a game changer. If you are not using an eye cream in your makeup prep, you need to start. Now this is the Laura Mercier eye cream. I like to go in with a little bit on my ring finger and you know just focus it all over the eye especially because I have really dry eyes. For a period of time, I felt like I forgot to do my makeup and I would do my makeup every day and hate how it turned out for some reason. Especially my under eyes, like they would be so creased, patchy, cakey. And using an eye cream really just changed the game. So now you could see the entire face is just really plump. This Laura Mercier one, I'm getting a little closer. Hopefully you guys can see. It has an iridescent shift. Here's the inside. And I actually used to work at the retail counter at Laura Mercier and this is like the hidden little gem that I would always tell people about because when I learned about it I absolutely fell in love with it especially as I started using it for me I have a lot of dark circles so the iridescent shift just really kind of neutralizes a little bit not to mention it's so hydrating and when it blends together with my concealer I feel like it just melts beautifully and radiant sometimes I will use a corrector guys especially LA girl pro corrector in peach but I try, try, try not to use so, so many products on my eyes because I feel like I'm really <laughs> learning the concept of less is more, especially getting older and with all the soft glam that's been trending the past year or so. If you know, you know. Moving along, I go into primer. Now, honestly, you do not need primer, especially if you skin prep. But for me, I specifically love this Benefit Professional Light. Um, just to sweep along the areas where I don't want it to be so shiny. You know what I mean? I've been going for a really dewy finish um, for the past year, I want to say. And a lot my T-zone, I don't want it to shine through. I kind of like to mattify the skin prep. And also, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I have a scar from a dog bite when I was 8 months old. So I really always like to pack a primer like this in that area just so when I put makeup on top, it's not accentuating it as much. And then a recent favorite has been the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I don't use this every single day. I'll just take the tiniest amount and where I like to put it is kind of opposite where I put the other primer. So really focusing it on my cheeks and my chin area. Just where I want it to be tacky. This really helps a lot with the cream application of my blush and bronzer. So yeah, we love to see it. So next, I'm sorry guys, you might be sick and tired of seeing this foundation everywhere. But nobody is lying. It is amazing. So Makeup by Mario foundation. I am in the shade 8N. Why do I have like disgusting patches of stuff on every product? I am so sorry. As you can see, these are go-tos for me. So I absolutely love this foundation. Other foundations that I have been switching back and forth from the past year or more have been Born This Way by Too Faced. I'm in the shade Warm Nude in this one. Um, that is a classic always. I feel like more so when I want a fuller coverage and the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Um, I go back and forth between three shades. This one specifically is in Vienna. I really love this one. These are actually kind of similar. I feel like the Mario one is a little bit more fuller coverage and the NARS one is more of a buildable, soft, radiant kind of vibe. But the Mario one Ever since the day I've tried it, I have not been able to stray away, honestly. My favorite tool to apply this with is with a sponge. So I go in with a little less than a full pump because again, for me, lately less has just been more. Um, I really just love, I feel like we all love that soft glam look. 
that skin that looks like skin. And yeah, so I mainly focus the product in the center of my face as well as the bottom of my cheeks right here. So like I said, this is a more full coverage version of the look that I've been doing. When I do apply it this way, I try to mimic underpainting as much as possible. So I really like to focus the products on the area of the skin that they are meant for, especially this forehead area and the nose. I've realized I do not like a lot of product there. It tends to cake up and just not look cute, especially in person, guys. I feel like Instagram makeup, even TikTok makeup, just social media makeup is so much different than in person makeup. So if you guys haven't tried underpainting yet, you definitely should because in person, it looked flawless. Lit. And of course, full coverage looks flawless as well. But like I said, I just have been really liking that skin look. I feel like it just photographs beautifully and looks beautiful in person. So always remember, bring it down to your chin, your double chin in my case. <laughs> and yeah, so once I have the layer of that down, as you can see, I kind of kept it away from the perimeters of my face and my eyes. Um, because we are gonna go into the next step. So moving along to my Too Faced Born This Way concealer, I am almost out of this one. I have the shade Nude, by the way. I like to put this on where I'm gonna conceal and kind of let it sit and marinate on the face for a little bit while I move on to my next step. So bear with me, guys. Kind of just move a little fast from here. I just add concealer especially around these areas. Okay, so letting that sit because I love how it looks when it's sitting. I next move into cream contouring. I have been a cream girly for everything lately. I feel like 2018, 2019 me would be like, what? Because I was all powder, powder, powder. But lately I've been using the shade Happy Soul from Rare Beauty. And guys, I've had this for like over a year and it's still going strong. I love this so much. It is probably my favorite cream bronzer to date that I've tried. I do love the Fenty one, um, but I feel like this one is just a little bit more creamy and I'm just obsessed. But guys, leave me recommendations in the comments of things that you think I should try because I feel like I've been on the same products for so long that I need to switch it up. But I'm going in, this is actually the Rare Beauty foundation brush. Um, but I just love the shape of it and I love how it buffs out my cream contour. So I love to go in with the brush onto the stick as you probably saw me do. And then I like to stamp it into the skin. This again just creates such a skin like finish. It looks so beyond good. And I go in with powders over top of everything. So I like that this just gives a flush of color. This complexion is just my favorite. And guys, I've been staying away lately from going over here. You would think that I would contour there because I am obviously insecure about my double chin. However, I feel like it leaves a line and if anything, it accentuates it even more. Even when I drag it down, I don't know, I just don't like it. But I do like this technique where you kind of go straight down. That do anything? Who knows? <laughs> now that we laid that down, this concealer is pretty much set. So I go in with the sponge and start blending out the product. And just a tip that I have for you guys, try not to do super streaky concealer under the contour to clean it up. Um, I love a clean contoured look, but sometimes when I put too much concealer there, it just looks like not flushed. I don't know if that makes any sense. Yeah, I know sometimes it's hard because we, we just want to cover everything up, but try to remember that less is more concept and you'll really see how flawless the end result is. Um, so then I just take this first layer on the eyes and kind of blend it. I used to carve out the under part of my eyebrow, but honestly I haven't been doing that lately. I've just kind of been mapping it out with the beauty blender when I do this first layer of concealer. And then you could pick up the excess product also to just clean up. So just making sure everything looks seamless and blended. This is only my first layer of under eye concealer. So once I have this, I kind of go back into the brush that has the product on it from the bronzer and I kind of just re-crispen up that line if I have to and blend out any harsh line that that concealer created. So next, another Rare Beauty product. Honestly, I am a Rare Beauty stan. 
Nobody can tell me otherwise. Like, I am obsessed with all of their products. They are a brand that definitely caught me off guard, like, when they first launched. I feel like everybody also was like, eh, like, another celebrity brand, you know. But no, this brand is, like, honestly top five of all time for me. They just keep coming out with banger after banger. And I did get the lip oils, guys, and I'm gonna do some TikToks on them, so stay tuned. But this blush... <sighs> If you know, you know. You already probably know. This is in the shade Hope. It is my favorite shade. And again, I've had this one for as long as I've had the bronzers. And I am doing just fine. I absolutely love this. So, go in with my blush after that first layer of concealer. And I put a single dot right there. So, I've been doing actually something different with my blush that I feel like has made a huge, huge difference in my personal face shape. Something I've learned, guys, is don't mimic everything you see everybody doing online because everyone has different face shapes and even for me, like what I'm telling you right now works for me, might not work for you, but I have been focusing all of the blush kind of up here and into the temple as opposed to right here. As you guys can see, I have like a rounder-ish face and I have, I have chubby cheeks. So when I put the blush here, it starts to make my face sag down a little bit, which is what we don't want. So, wow, I actually put a little bit of blush today. Normally it's like a lot. And I do like to bring it down, but not too down if you know what I mean. I love sweeping some um, here and here. I'm actually gonna get more. Um, and I love the trick, if you haven't tried this yet, with the Rare Beauty Blush, if it's too much for you. Put it on the back of your hand first. And it gives you a lot more control to actually of where the color is going. I'm just obsessed. And yeah, so next I live by my beauty blender to clean up everything again. Next, this is my second and final layer of concealer and I go in with Tarte Shape Tape. I believe this is the shade Light Medium Sand. I'm almost running out of this one too. This one is also my brighter concealer. This one I really focus in certain spots and I let this sit for a little bit as well. Um, I go back and forth, honestly, guys, between using a beauty blender and a brush for this part. I think today I'm going to use a brush just to get a more concentrated look, if you know what I mean. And I'm also going to go ahead and spray my face. I love this Il Maquillage Hydrating Setting Spray. But yeah, when working with cream products, it just really helps to give a little refresher bonds everything kind of together but make sure you don't blend out while it's still wet like make sure it's just a little tacky little steps and techniques we learned along the way um, but yeah I always start at the chin for some reason yeah I really like to crisp in right here where my face kind of sinks is where I like to blend the concealer into the blush so it's not like sagging. What's crazy is your placement of concealer and your placement of everything honestly can change the whole shape of your face and how the end result turns out. And guys, don't get me wrong, I'm still learning too. Like there's some days where I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Over time, this has just been like the routine that's been sticking with me. Um, so the brush, which I'm sure you've heard a lot of people say, just helps out with control and pigment and placement. So I like to kind of pack this layer on. As you can see how much brighter that looks, it's really greasy right now though. Also guys, the eye cream you use is very important. So sometimes you have to just trial and error with different eye creams. Some eye creams will actually make your concealer look worse. So just putting that out there, sometimes you're like, I don't understand what people are talking about like it does not work for me but it's just a product or sometimes things don't work for everyone okay make sure you guys are with me because I'm gonna move fast now I go back in with the blush brush um, to blend out that color that extra concealer messed up now this is another step that changed everything and more for me so pay attention First, you are gonna want a puff. If you haven't gotten these already, they are not a gimmick, they are necessary. So I like to go in with a pink powder for my under eye area only. And just because it just neutralizes everything a little bit more, of course it's trendy, but I just don't really like a yellow under eye as of lately. Both of these powders that I'm using are from Laura Mercier. I've been loving, loving the talc free version. This is the Ultra Blur 
version of their original powder, but it's talc free. I absolutely love it. I'm like talking, flinging this around, and I'm surprised that none of the powders fell. I always drop my powder, guys. It's bad. Okay, are we ready? So dip into the pink powder ever so slightly, and then I take the powder puff and I go like this. I love TikTok, all this makeup artistry tips. Um, it just makes it all even. So biggest difference in my under eyes has been this. You do not want to take powder, just pack it on, which is what I've been doing for so long. I go in with the beauty blender with the excess concealer and just make sure there is no creasing. Make sure you look in the mirror too to make sure you like it, it didn't lift anything. And then I look up and press into the eye. So basically we are ever so slightly set it and I'll drag the rest just down so you can already see the difference I take the powder again and do the very same thing for the other eye you want to try to do this as fast as possible and they're real when you're doing this but since I'm talking to you guys I have like a lot of creasing going on so just blending all that looking up has really helped me I love the pink powder too because it blends into the blush so I go in and get like an even tap and now is when I bake so once you already set the eye you can add some bake on but don't let this sit for too long guys I mean what works for you works for you but I've just realized it is not 2015 anymore we do not need to be leaving that forever it really <laughs> creates a lot of caking so like I said I just use the pink powder in the under eye area and I love how it fades into the blush right here so it kind of mattifies everything down and then I also bring it into the edge of my nose I definitely always bake up here because I crease on my eyelids like crazy now I switch powders um, with that ultra blur Ugh, it's just like chef's kiss I haven't even touched the original one since I got this one to be honest with you but now I go into the center of my face and press in and then I bring it out and then I ever so slightly tap to the blush and bronzer and the forehead so yeah not too much powder pat 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 but yeah and we're gonna bring that dew back into the face eventually as well but i like to go in and kind of like bake tour i used to say that all the time in my makeup videos bake tour my nose because i don't like to contour my nose so yay oh now this i would say this is like my favorite part so now going in with the Too faced gingerbread bronzer and my bronzer brush i use this all the time and have not hit pan this is like two years old but yeah i don't use that much anymore so that's really why i just sweep the bronzer on the temples and the outskirts of my face as well as the sides of the nose i love a good warm bronzer moving along Everything is dirty, I swear. Um, I love these color effects little duos. I also, from time to time, I will use the bronzer version. This is just a little bit more cool tone for my liking. Um, I love this one in the summer though because I love a good shimmery bronzer and the gingerbread bronzer has specks of shimmer But don't be scared of shimmery blush and bronzer guys. It actually looks stunning on the skin But anyways, also a lot of my brushes guys have been from the morphe vegan pro series This blush right here in pink dahlia from cover effects is that girl I also of course have been loving the dior blush in 001 pink only for when I'm wanting a pinkier look to my face not every day. I need to branch out and try more blushes and blush colors every day But once I find favorite products, I just stick to them So anyways, I go and I swirl the brush in both the shimmery and matte side and I start up here And I press 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 into the skin So you already have blush on but yeah, and I try to again avoid that area and then I sweep off the bake with this I just love it also guys, if you take the brush into that translucent powder and mix them both together, it's beautiful for the perimeters. And the ultra blur, oh my god, the powder is unreal. If you're already a fan of Laura Mercier's powder or if you weren't, you definitely need to give this one a try because it's just like magic. I already had a cream blush, but this just elevated it. And I like to take the shimmery side because I... Surprisingly have not been a highlight girl for a while I do really love the rare beauty one and sometimes I'll put it depending on my mood But a good shimmery blush is where it's at because it gives your cheek that same effect that a highlighter would but 
infused in your blush it just looks beautiful then i'll go in with some ultra blur powder and i'll do kind of like a nike swoosh um i put more on the nose because we dusted that off right in here to brighten i still have not found like a good brightening powder that doesn't make me feel like cakey Okay, so now I will do my brows, and my brows are super simple. I just use a gimme brow to bring the life of my brows back. And yeah, so pretty much from here, my eyes are the only thing that changes on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know, I'm weird, guys. For some reason, I only like winged liner with certain looks and certain outfits. Um, and I like to match my eye looks to the vibe I'm going for with my outfits or like the pictures that I'm doing. So sometimes I'll just do a winged liner. Sometimes I'll do shadow liner, um, like a brown shadow. Other times I'll do like shadow only. But I could go through those specifically more on TikTok or in vlogs. Yeah, if you guys know, you know, I stand Kimmy Brow and Benefit eyebrow products for the longest time and then I go in with a 24 hour brow setter this is a mini one I have I do like a tiny bit of feathering but not too much because I don't really like how it looks on me okay so for today I'm just going to do my most simple eye look um this is what I've been sticking to most of the time I love this paint by umber mac eyeshadow it is so perfect it's like a peachy brown transition color and it is just perfect so I like to ever so slightly not too much because I feel like I don't know for some reason for me eyeshadow sometimes just changes the entire look so I like to just shape out my eye and I kind of blend it out in a V shape into the blush and it just looks really seamless that way. Um, and it gives my eye that definition where it's not too plain it has a little something and then I like sweeping some under the eye finally time to sweep everything away I'm just gonna do a little spray Fun fact, I don't know how true this is, but I heard if you do matte setting spray first, it just really helps and then do a dewy setting spray. I've done that a few times. I don't notice like a huge, huge difference, but yeah. And guys, ignore my chest. I literally haven't seen sun. This was my favorite rare beauty highlighter and I broke it! But this one was the shade Enlighten. Um, but I still have the perfect little amount for what I've been using it for lately, which is inner corner highlight. Oh, it's just like beautiful. Tip of the nose. Wow. If you know, you know. I don't know why I don't like bringing it down. I even love this as like an all over topper, but not today. Oh, I'm keeping. I'm gonna try to speed this up. I normally go for like a super snatch lash. The lash changes every day. But my friend Sophie, hey girl, hey, she has a brand called Glamorous Looks and I absolutely love them. So they just actually came out with a natural collection of lashes, which I'm so excited about. I actually want to try out this one today. This one's called Snatural. It just looks perfect and it's calling my name. So I'm just going to apply these off camera. So I like to just curl my lashes. Um, I always, always, always do either a black or brown tight line and then this bad gal bang waterproof mascara is my all-time favorite i think because it's, it's really thin and so i coat my lashes while i wait for the glue to dry my lashes have grown so much i've been using the sugar bear hair or lash serum snatchable definitely very that okay i've had enough of looking like this i feel like i might have let them sit a little too long today anyways whatever another tip is to mattify your lips with powder for lip liner because sometimes my lip liner i'm not even gonna sit here and lie to y'all sometimes it just does not look cute <laughs> what is going on this would only happen to me while i'm doing a get ready excuse me while i look like a royal i don't even know i'm going to do my lips and i'm going to show you guys my go-to combo lately so keep it spicy by la girl um also been loving bear is always a go-to sugar and spice i think Okay, once I have lined my lips to my liking, sorry guys, as I'm getting my life together, this Sweet Talk Velvet Mousse by Dose of Colors is just chef's kiss. And I blend that together. I have been loving either of these, either this MAC Lip Glass and Deco Go Go. It has some sparkle in it. Or this Dominique Cosmetics Really Milky Nude in Creamer. I think today I'm gonna go the MAC. Now watch. Oh, this combo. Mm, I'm in love. 
Milky Nude Lips have had a chokehold on me the past year. I'm just living and sometimes I'll give a final spray again. So we have finally reached the end of this makeup tutorial. I absolutely love this look, hence why it's been my go-to. And I'm so happy to have finally done a full, long, updated makeup tutorial here on YouTube. It feels so good to be back in my roots doing long-form content. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what else you guys would like to see from me. Do we want to bring makeup videos back? Let me know. Should I keep them on? TikTok. Let me know, y'all. But yeah, I am all ready to take pictures and film some more. As always, I will have all of the products and everything linked down below for you guys. I really hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.